The evening before the trials and crucifixion that awaited him, Jesus joined in a Passover meal with his apostles. At the end of this Last Supper, in a sacred intercessory prayer, Jesus petitioned his Father in these words, Holy Father, keep through thine own name mine apostles, whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word, that they also may be one in us. In our extremely contentious world, how can unity be achieved? Paul gives us the key. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. We are too diverse and at times too discordant to be able to come together as one on any other basis or under any other name. Only in Jesus Christ can we truly become one. Becoming one in Christ happens one by one. If individually we each put on Christ, then together we can hope to become as one, as Paul said, the body of Christ. Unity does not require sameness, but it does require harmony. We can have our hearts knit together in love, be one in faith and doctrine, and still cheer for different teams or disagree on various political issues, but we can never disagree or contend with anger or contempt for one another. I say again that it is only in and through our individual loyalty to and love of Jesus Christ that we can hope to be one. One within, one at home, one in the church, eventually one in Zion, and above all, one with the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. I return to the events of Holy Week and the ultimate triumph of our Redeemer. The resurrection of Jesus Christ bears witness of His divinity and that He has overcome all things. His resurrection bears witness that bound to Him by covenant we too may overcome all things and become one.